Welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert a scanned PDF file into an Excel sheet. If you have a PDF that contains a table with numbers and other information, and you need to edit or analyze it in Excel, this video is for you. So, here I have a scanned PDF file that contains a table with some important data. My goal is to convert this scanned PDF into a fully editable Excel sheet. To do that, we first need to convert the scanned PDF into a text-based PDF using OCR technology, and then we'll convert that PDF into an Excel sheet. The first step is to convert the scanned PDF into an editable format using OCR, Optical Character Recognition. For this, we're going to use a website called I Love PDF. This site offers a variety of free tools for editing and converting PDF files. On the I Love PDF homepage, go to the OCR PDF tool. Click on Select PDF File to upload your scanned PDF from your computer. Once the file is uploaded, click on the Apply OCR button to start the conversion. After the process is complete, click on Download to save the new text-based PDF file to your device. Now that we have our text-based PDF, the next step is to convert it to an Excel sheet. Still on I Love PDF, go to the Convert PDF menu and select PDF to Excel. Upload the newly saved PDF file by clicking on Select PDF File. Once your file is uploaded, click on Convert to Excel. You might see an option to continue without OCR, click on that, as we've already applied OCR to the PDF. After the conversion is complete, click Download to save your Excel sheet. Now let's open the Excel file together and check out the results. As you can see, the entire table, along with all the numbers, has been successfully transferred from the scanned PDF to the Excel sheet. It's fully editable, and you can now work with your data directly in Excel. And that's it. You've successfully converted a scanned PDF into an Excel sheet. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.